हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम प्रोफेसर राजेंद्र कोरन्ने फ्रॉम टीच इजी इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स ऑफ मूवमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया वी सॉ द डिफरेंट स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्मूली टू फाइंड आउट द मूवमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया ऑफ डिफरेंट स्टैंडर्ड शेप्स फ्रॉम टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट सॉल्विंग द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ मूवमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया लेट एस गो फॉर द फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल The first example is a rectangle is 120 mm wide and 200 mm deep. Calculate moment of inertia about the centroidal axis and about the edge. Bottom edge means bottom. Now let us see what is given in this particular example. This is the standard case of rectangle. what is the width of the rectangle given b is equal to 120 mm what is the value of depth given d is equal to 200 mm we want to find out moment of inertia about the centroidal axis means about x x axis and about y y axis similarly we want to find out moment of inertia about the base that is bottom edge let us find out the moment of inertia about horizontal centroidal axis i x x in the previous lectures we saw what is the standard formula for moment of inertia for rectangle about x x axis it is b into d cube divided by 12 let us substitute the values of b and d what is b 120 mm what is d 200 its cube divided by 12 using scientific calculator you will get the value of this i x x as 80 into 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4 okay what is this this is i x x that is horizontal centroidal axis now let us go for i y y so what is the formula for vertical centroidal axis i y y only you interchange the places of b and d so it will be d into b cube divided by 12 substituting the values d is 200 into b is 120 cube divided by 12 again using the scientific calculator you will find out the value of i y y is equal to 28.8 into 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4 do you understand this now we are also asked to find out the moment of inertia about the bottom edge that is about the base what is the standard formula for moment of inertia of a rectangle about the base come on we have already derived the standard formula using parallel axis theorem and it is b into d cube divided by 3 substituting the values of b and d what is b 120 what is d come on 200 cube divided by 3 so it comes out to be 320 into 10 raised to 6 mm 
race to four. So this was a very straightforward problem in which you have to use the standard formula. We have calculated IXX BD cube by 12. Then we have calculated IYY. Please make a habit to highlight the answers. This is IYY. 28.8 into 10 raised to 6. And this is moment of inertia about the base. Do you follow this? Now let us go for the second problem. The second problem is on square because it is the subcase of rectangle we already know. Calculate MI of a square of side 200 mm about centroidal axis and about its diagonal. This is a rather simple problem of standard substitution. Let us say that this side of the square, let us denote by small a, it is 200 mm. In the standard formulae, we already saw that if this is a square, this will be its diagonal. Isn't it? If I name it as A, B, C and D, then this will be its horizontal centroidal axis Ixx, this will be its vertical centroidal axis Yy and this will be diagonal. Now we know that moment of inertia of a square is a raised to 4 by 12 because b and d are equal therefore it is a raised to 4 by 12 and it is symmetrical about xx axis, symmetrical about yy axis, symmetrical about diagonal also therefore moment of inertia of square about xx axis, about yy axis and about diagonal all of them are same therefore ixx equals to i y y equals to i diagonal that is d b what it is equal to a raised to 4 divided by 12 let us substitute the value of a value of a is 200 so 200 raised to 4 divided by 12 using scientific calculator you will find this value equals to 1.33 into 10 raised to 8 mm raised to 4. So this was the second problem in which we saw how to find out MI about centroidal axis and diagonal of a square. So please highlight the answer. Let us go for the next problem. You must have seen that here we are solving the problems which are symmetrical and solid. There is no hollow section. So let us see the third example. You can see that calculate MI of a circle 200 mm in diameter about its diameter and tangent also calculate its polar MI. Now here you can see that diameter of circle is given 200 mm. Now about diameter means any diameter is a centroidal axis for a circle we know that circle is always symmetrical about any diameter. So I will say this xx. Now second thing which is asked is 
also calculate the movement of inertia about tangent. So what is tangent? You know that this is the tangent to the circle. Now as this is tangent, we will have to use parallel axis theorem in this and the value of h. What is this value? This will be radius. Diameter is 200. So definitely radius will be 100 mm. Okay. This is nothing but the tangent. I will write TGT for this. And the third one we have to calculate movement of inertia about polar axis that is this axis. Okay. Let us first, first calculate Ixx that is about the diameter. So what is the formula? Come on tell me. For a circle Ixx equals to pi d raised to 4 upon 64 therefore it will be pi into 200 raised to 4 divided by 64 you will find that this comes out to be 78.54 into 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4 so this is the first answer I will highlight it Ixx same will be Iyy because it is a symmetrical about any diameter Xxyy diameter now let us calculate movement of inertia about the tangent now I will write by parallel axis theorem mi of the this circle about tangent that is i t g t equal to now this tangent here you can very easily see that this tangent is parallel to the diameter. So parallel axis theorem is applicable over here Ixx plus area of the circle into h square. What is h here? It is 100. Okay. What is area? pi d square upon 4. So let us substitute this 78.54 into 10 raised to 6 plus area. What is area? pi into 200 square by 4 into h square what is value of h 100 do not forget to make it square and this bracket complete you will find that this value comes out to be as you go away and away from the centroidal axis movement of inertia goes on increasing and this answer comes out to be 392.66 into 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4. So this is I about tangent. Now we also find out 
i about the polar axis that is polar f also want to calculate i polar now polar moment of inertia can be calculated by polar axis theorem or perpendicular axis theorem what is that by polar axis theorem What is polar axis theorem? Moment of inertia about the polar axis is summation of moment of inertia about its centroidal axis i x x plus i y y. This example is important because in this example parallel axis theorem is also used and we are also using purpose perpendicular axis theorem or polar axis theorem. So, let us put the values. What is I x x? I x x and I y y are same. So, may I say that it is 2 into 78.54 into 10 raised to 6 which comes out to be 157.08 into 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4. So, do you follow? What is this? This is moment of inertia of the circle about the perpendicular axis or polar axis. This is polar axis. Okay. So, in this particular lecture, we have solved three problems. First problem was on rectangle, second was on a square and the third one is on circle. Do you follow this? Please practice it once again. Okay. In the next lecture, we will solve some problems on hollow sections. Thank you.